Hello beautiful humans. Um, so I'm going to start doing some more videos on LinkedIn um, and also my YouTube channel. Basically, I'm sure people who do follow me, it seems like I'm just ranting every now and again. I think it's useful to actually um, open, open up the discussion um, in person as well. Um, I'm very passionate about helping people find jobs and I have a lot of insight um, into how jobs are actually got in in 2023 24 you know it we work i'm very honest about um the new age of job hunting and i have some techniques to share that i would like to do but i first of all i am going to start i am going to start by talking about um some of the things that i post about um most recently i posted about um basically getting the attention of um hiring managers over all others this is based on a recent placement um that basically um was absolutely brilliant i mean it helped that the candidate um was an ai algorithm writer um but the fact is what he did before the interview is he basically wrote an algorithm for them um it was a wonderful uh, health tech product where um, they were providing a solution um, to children who have cancer and um, basically they were struggling with the AI concept of it because it is an AI chatbot um, and they were able to, he basically, I spoke to him, he knew he was just at uni but he was just a genius um, and I did say to him, I was like, he was really passionate about the product um, and I, he goes, look, I, I actually want to write a solution for them and I was like, do it. Oh my God, do it. If you're happy to do that, do it. I was like, but obviously don't share the ins and outs of it. Um, and then he wrote the algorithm and I showed it to the hiring manager and he was literally just over the moon. He could not believe it. And it actually, obviously he took him on. He actually went on to um, get that algorithm patented. Um, and it was literally you know, the base success for this wonderful product that, you know, you know, was helping so many children, essentially. So on a base level, you know, we're not all AI algorithm writers, are we? Um, but what we, but what we can do is, for instance, at a higher level, I had a candidate that um, was a sales professional, pre-sales, and obviously pre-sales is um you know selling technical products um they do have a technical side to them um so he was pitching um like it was an ai uh product within finance and he was at sort of kind of at junior level and i said to him i was like make sure you know everything about this product everything in and out i was like you love this i was like i'm confident you can get this job so you know allow the time to work on it um, he went away. I sent him loads of links um, to news and stuff like and stuff like that. What they're doing, and he actually wrote a pitch for them. Um, something that he would he would say, and and I let the client know that he's actually done this and can you know a bit of time be set aside on this um, so he can pitch it, and they were blown away. Basically, they started with that and they were just like done. You know he can do the job it's you know and i said to him i was like how long did that actually take you know um to to actually write that and he was like well he goes he goes took about you know an hour to research the company properly get to know the product as much as he could and then he just based it on past pitches or you know he was able to find the passion um as you need within sales and he got the job they you know they normally have three or four stages but he got the job and it was brilliant um, another story from this situation that I absolutely love is one of my favourite roles to work on within game development is um, economy design. And because it's so complex, um, but it's, you know, it's working on, you know, what will the game need to make people want to play more, you know? Um, to make people come back to play, to make people carry on playing, you know, 
across all different types of titles nowadays. It used to just be sort of mobile gambling games, but now it's, you know, in every type of title. You know, it's silly if it's not used. But what happened is this economy designer, I mean, he was from a fantastic studio. They already liked him, um, but he wanted quite a high salary. Um, he wanted above what they were offering. And he, I said to him, I was like, look, can you look at their game and provide three or four solutions or to make it better? You know, play the game. Um, I was able to get a key it would, for an unreleased game from, from the client. So they were able to look at the, the actual new game that they were working on. And he provided about six solutions. And he said that he really enjoyed doing it because what he found was on the call, he was able to be really passionate, you know, and show what he's going to be like in the job rather than just like, I am this, I have done this. Um, he was able to actually say, if I was to get this job, this is what I would do. You know, um, this is what I find that isn't working, you know, in past jobs, I've done this, it'd be relevant for this, for this game. And it was just brilliant. Again, first interview offers blows everybody out of the park. So adding value is crucial. So that's what I can say. Um, I appreciate, you know, it is a numbers game, but if you really want a job, you know, especially within gaming and you, you want a job as a specific client, do this, do it. It's worth it every single time. If you are working with a recruiter, just let them know that you've done this. Um, or again, I always say, show it via slides maybe if you're submitting it um through direct website or write it as a pitch um you know if you're a game designer you know do do it like a like an actual design um just just show it if you only have 10 minutes extra to spend on it do a little bullet point you know but i can guarantee it will get you noticed it's a little bit of um little bit of tip that I find is very crucial. Follow me for more tips. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to share some, share some sort of examples and stories that I've had for our recruitment.